This video demonstrates adding a trigger to a Logic app. In a previous video, we created a Logic app after logging into Azure Portal. On this screen, we are currently in the Azure Portal looking at a resource group. In that resource group, you can view all of the Logic apps that are in there. We're going to go ahead and choose our Logic app. And since it's a newly created Logic app, it brings you to a screen in the Logic app designer where you can select from a variety of common triggers, or you can start with the blank Logic app. Um, these triggers are probably worth your exploration um, and will be used uh, in various situations. In our case, we're just going to go ahead and start with the blank Logic app. That will initially bring us to a screen where we can search all of the connectors available within Logic Apps. For our case, we're going to uh, create a simple email trigger that when an email is received with a particular subject line, it will fire the Logic App. For that, we choose the Office, 350, Office 365 Outlook connector. And within that connector are various triggers you can see here. And we're going to go ahead and choose when a new email arrives. After we choose that, that brings us to the configuration uh, section or screen of the trigger. And we're going to uh, specify what it is where we want the Logic App to trigger off of based on the email received. We're going to go ahead and leave the folder be the inbox, importance any. Um, only with attachments, no. Uh, include attachments, we're going to go ahead and say yes on that uh, for use in a future video. And then we're going to go ahead and add a new parameter. And here we're going to add the subject filter. And if we click outside of that, it will uh, add the subject filter line. And in there, we can specify the text we want this trigger to activate from in the subject line of the email. So we're just going to type in something like trigger logic app and then give it the name of the logic app. And that would be it. So now we can collapse that if we want to. So this has got pretty simple uh, logic app with no real functionality at this point, but we're going to go ahead and save the logic app. And we'll go, go ahead and go back to the main screen for the logic app. And then what we'll do is we'll create a new email. We'll send it to the one thing I should also point out is that I'll uh, go back quickly into the logic app designer, the connection for this. Uh, trigger is my email address. You can also change the connection to monitor a different email address by logging in somewhere else uh, within Azure Portal. We're just going to go ahead and leave that to leave that set to my mailbox and come back to the main screen for the Logic App, and then go ahead and send an email to myself with the subject line that we specified in the trigger to monitor If we look at the runs history uh, tab of the overview and we refresh, we should eventually see a indicator that the email was received or after the email was received, which it was in my inbox, that the Logic App fired and 
was successful. If we want to, we can dive into the details of that run and see all of the various inputs and outputs of the trigger itself. 